fist bump or handshake. The host at the Today Show offered up this alternative way to say hello. It's a heart. No, oh, right. Nice to see you. Yes, it's All catching right. on. The NBA is advising players to fist bump fans instead of high-fiving them. Apparently, even the queen is taking precautions. She wore long gloves at a knighting ceremony today for the first time in 60 years. The head of the World Health Organization said today that coronavirus does not appear to transmit as efficiently as the flu. And while the flu can be transmitted before people get symptoms, that does not appear to be the case with coronavirus. And what do you do if you think you might have the coronavirus? Well, first of all, don't panic. Pick up the phone and call your doctor or your local health officials. They'll probably arrange for you to go to the local ER. And Jim Murray has a look at what will probably happen next. This is what you can expect if you think you have the coronavirus and go to your local emergency room. Extraordinary precautions are being taken to make sure patients don't spread the virus to other patients or medical staff at the hospital. At St. Joseph Hospital in Orange County, California, staff are bracing for a potential outbreak. What is our initial response? How are we going to be able to greet the public when they come in the front doors of the emergency department becomes critical. Medical personnel will wear heavy-duty face masks and face shields when treating coronavirus patients. Anyone suspected of having the virus will be taken to isolation rooms where this robot uses ultraviolet light to sterilize the environment. By now, you know that frequent hand washing is important. Hand sanitizer also works, but it's difficult to come by in stores with all the panic buying going on. You're actually telling us we can make it at home? Yes, it's actually very simple using three ingredients. NYU public health expert Dr. Jack Caravanos tells Megan Alexander all you need is one third cup of pure aloe vera gel to soften your skin, eight to ten drops of an essential oil like lavender to give it a scent, and two-thirds cup of rubbing alcohol. As a backup, you can actually use vodka? Yes, but you need very strong vodka. You need a 151 proof. Mix it all up and voila. That smells and feels yeah. exactly like the hand sanitizer exactly. I buy in the store. Yes. The coronavirus scare is also reminding people about the importance of taking basic hygiene precautions that you may not have thought about before the remote control. Mm. We all know how much we use this and they're really difficult to clean. So these need to be thoroughly cleaned. Okay, so wipe it a couple times a day? Yes. With a hand sanitizing wipe. No, wait, Megan. What you want to do is use a pen. Ah, great idea. Yes, you don't want to touch anything that other people are touching. In New York subways, the whiff of bleach is everywhere today as surfaces are disinfected. If you need to take public transportation, there are a couple ways to protect yourself. First, don't use your bare hand to hold on to the handrail. Use your sleeve or you can grab it with your arm and the whole coat is touching the handrail, not your skin. Experts say you should also avoid touching your face. The average person touches their face two or 3,000 times a day. We positioned a camera on Inside Edition reporter Allison Hall. Sure enough, she touched her face 28 times in 50 minutes. One expert says to keep from touching your face, substitute an activity like squeezing a stress ball. Just be sure to wipe it down with bleach or alcohol.